If you're a mechanic, you're watching, um, I'm looking for highly ethical people with attention to detail, highly stressed environment to join us. I need people in Liverpool, Manchester, North London, um, Bristol. If you're not prepared to drive like our, sometimes two, then you're not for car exam. If you want to just join for the sake of joining, you're not for us. You just need somebody, some people who can work on a licensed franchise basis in the future, cover this area, and um, is the prospect of potential growth, potentially earn good living and have a good quality of life. It's not a hard job, but it's highly stressful. You have to uh, have to be highly vigilant of what you're doing. You have to pay attention to everything. You have to be highly careful, attention to detail, understanding body language, reading people's mind, looking for anything. As you have to treat the car, there's something wrong with the car and you would buy it for yourself. If you will follow the, our internal guidelines, you will not get complaints because you will do what it needs to be done. Above and beyond that, it would be your sort of duty. It's not a health check. If you presume it's a health check, you earn quick money. It's not for you. Don't even apply. If you have a scrappy, dirty van, also don't apply, you know, because when you go to the main dealers or exclusive car sellers, they look at you. And if you look scrappy, it's just, just would not be for you. Some people are, they're highly arrogant. They treat people not great. First impression counts. And even in the first impression counts, they still remember they don't care about you. It's very difficult. And you still have to do what you need to do. And even if you, they say why you need it, you just need, I need both keys. I need to see this, I need to do that. No one will just go, come and run around you and give you everything you need, you need to ask. You have to be like a policeman, basically. Keep reminding them to any time. And to be patient and calm Sometimes you don't want to be calm, but you just have to. Sometimes it's difficult. Some days you will feel like me. Why I'm doing this? This is just shit, you know what I mean? I'm gonna do this. But then you know when somebody is sincerely happy and thankful after hard work, I mean, especially if the car is good and they bought it, or also um, in other contexts, if you find some latent issues, which potentially could cost like a lot of money, like engine knocks, they're sometimes not very apparent or potentially which will go wrong and they can make a rational decision. You know, it's about making a rational decision. It's not about giving warranty. The car can break at any time. If you're a customer, you have to get always a proper extended warranty. If you're buying a, ba a bag of chips, you know, it is old car and um, nothing you can do. Anything above 10 years old, above 100,000 uh, will break down any time.